will show you how to use the new fast Terraform resources to deploy application. So in this video, we will show you how to deploy an HTTPS application, but also to use at resources that are, are already available uh, to upload a certificate and the key to the big IP. So as you can see, I'm connected to a big IP. Uh, currently, there are a few virtual servers there. Uh, I have no partition, so nothing deploy. Uh, and we will see in the certificate list that it's the default one uh, when a big IP is installed. So we want to use Terraform. And for that, I'm connected here. So I have few files. So the first one are the certificate and the key. So it's in PEM format. We are storing it here and we will upload it. I have also, as usual, some variables. OK, so big IP username and password. You will see that those variables are used, for example, in the providers. We need to use the version 1.16 as a minimum, so the version of the big IP provider, to be sure that you have all the latest uh, fast Terraform resources. And those variables are set up automatically using the input auto tfvar file. So the IP address, the port, the username, and the password. We have also set up an output. OK, so that will help us to check the output uh, the, in JSON format at the end. Most important, the main file. So in the main files, at the beginning, we have two resources that are, that are Big IP SSL certificate and Big IP SSL key. And that will help us to upload the two files to the Big IP. And after that, we have the Big IP Fast HTTPS app. So we have specified the application, the, the tenants, so the partition, the IP address, the port for the virtual server, the certificate and the key that we are using, so the two one that we have already set up earlier, the pool members for, for the pool, uh, the snap pool if we need it, uh, the load balancing mode, the monitor for the pool, and depends on. So depends on will help us uh, to be sure that these resources it's not created until the two first one are created. And when we want to destroy or delete the application, that these uh, resources, the first one, will be deleted first and not after. So let's do a Terraform init minus upgrade to be sure that we are on the latest version. And now what we will do is it's a plan as usual and see what is the output. So it's telling us that it will create. That's good because this uh, resource is not created. It's not available on the big IP. Uh, and we, we get all the information. So we have set up and specific information. OK, so let's try to do the Terraform apply now. So first, it's creating the certificate, the key. And after that, it will create the big IP fast HTTPS resource. Let's go and check what's happening here. So if I go to the certificate list, I should see the app 4. So you can see here that the app 4 is here. It has been uploaded. And now if I go back to the virtual server, I have the scenario for partition that it's there. And I can see that my app for virtual server is created. And it's also creating a redirect. So if you try to access to the HTTP virtual server, you will be redirected to the HTTPS. And on the HTTPS, we have a specific SSL profile client. So if I go there and the SSL profile client. I have, sorry, I have my app for TLS server that is here, that is using the two files we have created, uploaded before. 
I hope uh, it is clear uh, how you can use the Terraform resources for fast. Um,